Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. And today's video is going to be my top 10 palettes for summer 2022. Each season I like to do my top 10 palettes. So this is the summer edition. I did this again last year in 2021. So if you guys wanna see more palette ideas for summer, then I would suggest you also click to that video at the end of this video so you guys can go check that out. But welcome if you're new. Hi, my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty. On this channel, I talk a lot about eyeshadow palettes because that's my favorite topic of conversation. But nothing is off limits on this channel. I love all aspects of makeup. I love bargain beauty. I love rankings. I love what I buy it style videos and other odds and ends that I like to create. Um, I've done lots of fun and interesting ideas. So if you like fun and interesting content, and I do have some more that's in the wings, I hope you guys will think about subscribing today by joining the DMB crew, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, do be sure to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so I have a guest in the room. She's sitting over here to my right. It's my daughter, Delilah, she's 12. So she's gonna be off over here on the side, just kind of playing. So if you hear any noise, don't mind, don't mind it, it's just Delilah. She's over here being very, very cute. She will probably get on the camera eventually. I think maybe at the end, right? At yeah. the end, you'll come say hi? Okay, so anyway, but right now she's gonna stay over there. Are you gonna stay over there? Yeah. Okay, good job. All right, so let's get into it, you guys. I tried my best not to duplicate the palettes from last year, and I'm pretty sure that I have not duplicated any of the palettes from last year. So I have a top 10, but then I have an honorable mention, okay? So I do have an honorable mention because this was gonna be in my top 10, but then I used it today, and I just decided, I, although I like it, um, it didn't live up to my expectations. So I'm including it in this video, but I will include it at the end. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so the top 10 palettes, in no particular order, I am not ranking these. I can rank them in a subsequent video if you guys would like. If you'd like me to rank them after I tell you what they are, I will be glad to do that. That's no problem. I've done that before, it went over well. So if that's something you guys want me to do, I will rank them, but I'm not gonna do that today. So let's start with the first palette. The smallest palette and the most affordable palette in this video is from Essence, and it is one of their six pan palettes, and this one is in the shade Coral Me Maybe. I love these little palettes. I have four of them. One of them is no bueno, but the other three are just so good. So this is Coral Me Maybe. Let me open it for you guys so you can see. Holding it upside down so you don't catch the mirror. This is a great color story. You've got three mattes, three shimmers. They do include that light matte that I wish was different, but the nice thing about this one is you've got that really deep, dar dar darker brown on the end. I need that deepening shade. You guys know me, if you've, if you've seen my videos at all, I love like a deep, rich outer corner, and that's what I typically go for in my eye looks. And if I don't have that, I will try to find something else deep in my, my palette you know, collection, which is pretty massive to create the looks I want. But I've got everything I need here. Um, I uh, do not use this shade, but I do like this for very quick and easy looks because it's only six shades. There's not much you can do with it, but what you do get is just enough to create a really, really pretty summer look. Super easy to travel with. You don't have to put a lot of effort into your look. You don't really have to think a lot. So if you want something fast and easy, this is a great palette. So that is the Coral Me Maybe from Essence. These palettes are $3.99. There are a few more that I want to get, but I have not yet picked them up, but I got this at Ulta, and I'm super excited I decided to pick that up. Okay, so going in a completely different color direction, and when I picked these palettes, I thought of ocean blues, I thought of corals, like coral reefs, I thought of sea life, I thought of, you know, bright, toasty like campfire colors so you'll see that theme throughout and I even picked one really pretty neutral like golden bronzy style palette for those of you who like more neutrals but this is not neutral at all it is a monochromatic, monochromatic palette from ColourPop and it is the high tide palette I used this recently and I hadn't used it yet and I love it it is so beautiful oh my gosh I'm so glad I decided to pick this up so this is the high tide palette it's a teal um, it's a teal monochromatic palette. The colors in here are stunning. I'm so happy that I decided to pick this up, but obviously it's teal. And it's very, very vibrant and very, very like pool vibes, you know? 
Sometimes pool water has got that teal hue. It depends on the tiles that you use in your pool, but it's got that teal hue. And I just think of, you know, lots of, uh, you know, it's got this kind of shell or kind of umbrella looking like, and it's called high tide. I mean, come on, there you go, ocean. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. You've got a great combination of mattes and shivers. Another really good deepening shade, which I always look for in every single palette. And if it has one, I usually am like, sign me up. So this is a great palette. I really, really enjoy it. I used this shade the other day and I used one of these shimmers too. And it was just a super simple, easy look. And I just enjoy it so, so much. So that is the High Tide palette from ColourPop. Okay, so now this one is going in another completely opposite direction in terms of its theming and what I look, you know, thought of when I saw this palette. And um, this is one of the BH Cosmetics Say It palettes. This is Optimistic AF. You guys know what that means, Optimistic AF. Open it up and it looks like a campfire. <laughs> it looks like you're out ready to go. Um, Roast some s'mores, you've got the fiery colors, you've got the browns, the chocolatey browns, you've even got this pretty kind of like yellowy marshmallow shade right here. Talk, talk about s'mores and campfire. That's what I thought of when I, when I looked at this. And I knew, you know, bonfires or things like that, or, you know, going to Girl Scout camp in the summer, or campery and all of that stuff. First thing I thought of. So I love these little Say It palettes. Um, I have almost all of them. I have one that I have not yet been able to find. It has eluded me. I've been getting these at TJ Maxx. If you guys wanna see TJ Maxx hauls, I've done many of those at this point, and most of them are BH Cosmetics palettes. So if you're interested in TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx hauls for palettes, I will link I probably can create a playlist at this point. I will link those videos down below. I highly suggest that you go check those out because I really have found some great palettes at TJ Maxx. But I've been collecting these Say It palettes and this was one I got recently and I'm just like summer, summer, summer all over the place. Um, it's very reminiscent of, you know, of Good Sport, not Good Sport, um, Yes Please um, and the uh, Natasha Denona Sunset palette, those kinds of colors. So, you know, think of sunsets too. Um, I think of, you know what I also think of? I think of the sunsets in the plains, you know, uh, where you're watching westerns and stuff like that. Sunsets over, um, over Arizona in the bluffs, you know, and, you know, in the canyons. Beautiful palette. I absolutely love it. Hey, excuse me one second. Ma'am, you're making, I'm, I'm running out of room over here. You gotta be careful, okay? Don't push too far. Okay. So the next palette I have, and I love this palette. I have not used it nearly as much as I thought I would, but that doesn't mean I don't want to use it. It is, excuse me, sorry, um, is a from Menagerie, and this is the Indigo Ink palette. I, I bet you guys didn't even know I had this. Stop, please. I bet you guys didn't even know that I had this, but I have this. This is, this is so good. This is so beautiful, I can't even, with this, this is so pretty. This is the Indigo Ink. I am so excited about this. Indigo Ink, you know, it's got, this, it's got the squid on the front. You've got these beautiful indigos, you've got some lovely reds, you've got that really fun, unique, greeny yellow. It's kind of a like fluorescent highlighter green, but not quite. You've got some beautiful shimmers in here, absolutely stunning, this palette. I knew when I saw this that I wanted to get it. Like, and then I saw people review it and getting a Menagerie palette is not the easiest thing in the world. That they're, um, they restock and they sell out right away. So um, I think things are gonna change a little bit because I think she's getting more, uh, a bigger warehouse and she's gonna be able to focus more on, you know, continual production and um, uh, restocks with a higher count, but I don't really care. It, Menagerie is worth the wait. You know, I, and I said that, I've said that about other palettes in my collection too, that it took me a long time to get or that I had to wait for. This palette is so, so good. And I really, really like it. I'm not too interested in these two shades right here because they're very, very similar, but the rest of the palette I'm all, I'm, all about, I'm all about. So that is the Indigo Ink Palette from Menagerie. So I'm so happy that I decided to pick that up. Let's see, there it goes. I'll make sure it's turned the right way. Okay, next palette. Now, this palette, created quite a stir. I bought it and I had not used it until the other day. And then I used it and I'm like, why haven't I used this yet? This is from ColourPop. I don't think this is available anymore. Some of these probably aren't available anymore. If any of them are, I will link them, but I think the majority of them, quite a few of them aren't available anymore. I'm so sorry to say, but 
Lush Life from ColourPop. Okay, I bought this because everybody was talking about it, but I had not used it until recently, and I'm telling you, holy shnikes. This palette is so, it's very reflective. I hope you guys can see. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. And far, I, when, I, when I first got this, I looked at it and I was like, what the heck am I going to do with that? I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I love colorful palettes, but the, you just had this section right here that kind of threw me off. Because the rest of it was like just warm, toasty, like beautiful, like corals and stuff with the golds. But then these, these, uh, these, um, teals and this green and this blue they just it threw me off and I really was confused about which direction I wanted to go with this but once I used it I was like okay I can do this I, I can make this work and it is absolutely stunning so 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 glad that I finally used it and I'm just like over the moon happy about it it's really really great so this is the Lush Life from Colourpop why this isn't still available I will double check, but I'm pretty sure. I don't think it is because I was checking some, I, I'm always checking ColourPop palettes. I'm always checking because they constantly release new ones. And my, I had a ColourPop palette wish list video. If you guys want to see that video, I will link that video as well. So yes, I do eyeshadow palette content constantly. So you guys go check out some of my other videos. All right. So this palette blew my mind blew my mind and I and I, I am 1000% on board with this palette. This is the Amore and Amalfi palette from BH Cosmetics. Found this at TJ Maxx, was blown away that I found it. Oh my God, and I did not realize until I got it how much I loved it. Oh, this is my, this is my, this is my jam. This is, this is Lean's Neutral, but you've got this beautiful, um, rosy shades you got an orange some orangey shades some you know toasty yellows and these browns this palette is so versatile not only is it versatile it is just it's 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 like coastline cliff beautiful like it's the amalfi coast this is what the amalfi coast is um you you've got you they you know i don't know like when you when you see pictures of the amalfi coast it's just absolutely stunning but it's very rocky, very cliffs, you know, lots of, lots of beautiful little seaside towns like the Trinco Terra. Guys, this is, you know, obviously, I mean, look at the photo. That's it. This is stunning. I've used this numerous times already. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. And that is the Moran Amalfi. It, it's so good. And yes, I do like neutrals too. I do like neutrals too. That goes without saying. So this one's great. And I think you can still get this one. BH Cosmetics, okay. A couple of my friends told me and a couple of you told me in the comment section that they're going to be releasing new travel palettes, which to me was like a sigh of relief because I was convinced that, you know, they hadn't had anything coming out and I was just like, what is happening here? I'm excited. I haven't even seen the palettes yet, but I've seen the covers of the palettes because I watched Angie's video. You guys told me about these videos, you know, their videos. So I went and watched the Will I Buy It? And I was just like, okay, BH, BH seems to be coming back to life and I'm all about it. So the more in Amalfi, I think right now you can't get, I don't think you can get it on BH Cosmetics website. You may be able to, if you are, yay. If you can't get it on BH Cosmetics website, you can probably get it at Beauty Bay. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty darn sure. Okay. Oh, I'm more in a movie. I want to go to Italy now. I swear to God. Okay. The next palette. I think I've mentioned this in another video that was, um, a seasonally seasonal inspired video and so this one might be a repeat but I needed to get a replacement for my honorable mention so this is the one I picked I picked the take me to Tokyo palette by maybe cosmetics <laughs> hey <laughs> okay excuse me ma'am okay can you wait <laughs> okay take me to Tokyo palette from maybe cosmetics you know what? 
I don't know what happened to this brand, but they really, really nailed it in terms of doing these cute little palettes. And then they just fell off the face of the earth. I know that they still exist, but I really, really want them to release a new set of travel palettes. Stay tuned. I'm doing my own travel series on this channel. It's very involved, so I'm working on it. But it is summer, so I'm gonna to try to do my own little travel series. But be, be, be advised, that's taking me a little bit longer than I planned, but this is the Take Me to Tokyo. We're talking about Tokyo right now. Okay, let me, let me show you guys. Look at this bright, punchy, fun color story. I think I might've mentioned this in my spring palettes. I, I can't be 100% sure, but if I did, oh well. I'm taking this into summer too. This palette, look at, look at my outfit. It could go very, very well. You would think maybe this is the color, the palette that I have on my eyes, and it's not. But I love this, minus the shade right here, and the two purples are exactly the same, but if you were to change one of those purples, this palette. Fantastico, look at that, so cute. The uh, Take Me to Tokyo palette, and you know this palette, this this brand had these little travel theme palettes, and um, you know, so that's a very big popular thing. These This brand had this little travel theme palettes. I think these, this brand came out before Nomad. You know, they came around, out around the same time. Nomad, of course, is travel themed. I'm so excited about their new palette. I think I know the location but I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna ruin it because Nomad, I want them to release the location. But I think I know the new location, so I'm excited about that. But anyway, that should be coming out soon. This is the Take Me to Tokyo palette. One second, please. Okay, another neutral palette, another neutral palette. And I just pulled this one out at the last minute and I thought, of course this palette is for summer. This is the Warrior palette by Juvia's Place. I love this. And like you guys notice, I'm more of a colorful lover, but this is so pretty and bronzy and just like delicious, like the golds and stuff. Perfect for summer, you know. This is the kind of palette that looks really, really good on somebody that's got a really beautiful tan. And I'm not a person that tans. Like I do, but I'm not willing to be outside to do it. So I just, I just maintain my paleness all year long and I don't I don't fake tan or anything like that and it intimidates me so I don't do it but if I did this would be the first palette I would go for this doesn't necessarily have to be for a tan skin tone like if you just wanted a gold bronzy look and you had like a really really pretty like like gold dress or something gold and, and uh, feminine and even something white against a tan skin oh my god so beautiful that is the warrior palette from Juvia's Place I love this palette Next palette I wanna talk about is no longer available. Sad, sad, sadly. But I swear, I found this at TJ Maxx. And I really, really, really wish that I could find the other two. There's three more that I don't have, but if I found them, I would pick them up immediately. But this is the Orange Sorbet palette. This is one of their Sweet Shot palettes. This is so pretty, and I did not think that I would like this because I'm not a huge fan of orange eyeshadow, but this is so good. This is so good. There's nothing deep in here, though. Only, only side, side note, there's nothing deep in here, but really, you've got some gorgeous, this, high, this is a highlight. It's like an orangey creamsicle kind of situation going on. Oh, my God. And these, these tones are so, so pretty. If you just wanted to do a matte and a shimmer, you've got it right here. If you don't if you don't really need anything to deepen up, if you just want to do a really large wing, or if you just wanted to do, do something simple that wasn't like, you know, that was just like a wash of color, pigmented, blends well, high impact shimmer, they're metallic, like they're just foiled. They're so gorgeous. Love this, love this. And I, like I said, I have three of these. Um, uh, two of them were gifted to me. And then I found this one at TJ Maxx, and I'm so thankful that I did. I adore it. And uh, the only ones I don't have are the Sugar Cone, which I want. That's the neutral one. The Cherry on Top and the Bubble Gum. And the Bubble Gum is the one I want the least, but if I saw it, I wouldn't I wouldn't let it just sit there. Okay. The selling y'all now. Okay. So this palette is the newest palette to my collection. I am so thankful that I decided to pick this up. 
it's absolutely stunning you've probably seen other people do videos on it but when i got it i got it right before i got sick and i was sick for about i was sick for about eight days with the sinus infection and that's why I was not able to film any videos and then my daughter was at uh, summer camp and then I wasn't able to finish vi film videos then. So that's why it took me so long to even do this. By the time I got this palette, I was so sick. I, I just didn't, I didn't feature it on my channel. But it's so good. This is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette. Holy Jesus, sweet baby Jesus. This is really more of those kind of ocean vibes. Um, Kelpie kind of kelpy like seaweed action going on with the blues um you've got a couple of really random colors in here fluorescence you know like you think of the fluorescent algae you know like the algae streams that you would see at night um you know and just some beautiful colors you even got some purples in here such a beautiful summer palette um if you lean towards these colors in the summer but i really do think blues um, you know, and greens and stuff like this really are appropriate for summer because, you know, if you think about like the ocean and pools and things like that and ocean life, you really do get some vibes from this. So that is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. I'm so all about it. It is great quality. What? It's great quality. I, I you know, when I first got this, when I ordered this, right before I ordered it, I thought, oh, I'm gonna do swatches. I'm actually gonna do a get ready with me. Didn't happen. That's okay. That's okay. We're all okay. We didn't, uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna all fall apart because Amy didn't do a get ready with me because how often do I really do those? Let's be real. Okay, so put that back. Honorable mention. Okay, this is an honorable mention, not because I don't like this palette, but it did not live up to my expectations, but I wanna mention it anyway because I would be remiss if I didn't mention this. Okay, so this is, and I just got this palette. This is the Summer in San Tropez palette from BH Cosmetics. It's one of their travel palettes. I like this a lot. I do. It's a really beautiful color story. This is the palette I'm wearing on my eyes. But guys, I have to say, this palette, as far as the travel palettes go, this one is a little bit older in the series, and I don't think the quality in this one is as good as, as it is in some of the newer ones that they have. It took me a while to get this eye look. The pigmentation wasn't as good as I had thought it would be, especially with these two colors right here. I had to build them up a lot. And um, I, use, I use this as a transition shade, and I really felt, I, I didn't feel like super excited about it. And it just, didn't live up to my expectations because really with all the other ones I'm just like I love this hallelujah these palettes are so amazing this one is good I'm not saying it's not good but in terms of the quality the quality on this one is not to me as good I don't know if I'm imagining that or what but I'm it really really is a good palette but it's not as great as I thought it would be. So I wanted to make it an honorable mention. Really, this is one of those things that's buildable, but even, even with it being buildable, it the it builds up, but it, it, it never reaches the level of pigmentation that I want it to, at least it didn't. But it still created a, a nice look. I still created a nice look. I'm not mad at this look, but it took me a while. So anyway, that is the Summer in San Tropez palette. So those were 11 palettes. Like I said, I filmed this video last year. I will link that video here at the end so just click through after you watch this then you can see a whole nother video with those palettes too may or may not be available you guys know how it is on my channel i don't feature on new makeup because here's the deal i can't buy every new almost can't buy every new release and um i like to enjoy what i have in my collection and yeah i buy discontinued makeup at tj maxx because i'm cheap i like affordable makeup so yeah and my budget is only so big and uh so yeah hope you guys like this video somebody wants to come say hi are you coming over yeah come on hurry up there she comes be careful okay be careful Okay, you're getting so big to get in my lap. I'm gonna let you until you're, until I can't anymore. So this is Delilah, say hi. Hi, and uh, we should put on your makeup on. Yeah, put on your makeup. And uh, subscribe to our channel. That's a good thing to ask about, yes. And follow us on Facebook. 
We are on Facebook, but mom doesn't check it very often. And I, I'm on Instagram too. I'm getting better about posting photos. But anyway, thanks so much for watching today. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, right? See ya. Peace out. Bye. Peace out. Bye.